able to get some food tonight. That's exactly right. Justin, Tory. Downtown Greenville was actually filled with people tonight looking for a place to go because many of their houses and apartments still don't have power. You just heard those numbers. So they're looking for a safe haven, a place to eat. One of those places that was open today, Poppy's Tacos. About 30 minutes ago, this line was through this store. People waiting for hours to get something to eat. Now, if you remember on Tuesday night, Poppy's Tacos took a hit with another storm that rolled through, forcing them to throw away some of their food because of that power outage. But today they were able to keep their kitchen open. Now another place able to keep their doors open tonight, the Velo Fellow, which is right next door on Augusta Street. People were able to come in here today, charge their phones, looking for a place to just come and sit and be with the community. The workers here saying they were worried about this power outage and were very surprised that their lights were still on. I came in before work and just like used the electricity here and like it was such a relief so like I knew it'd be a relief for other people to just have a safe haven for them kind of to charge their phones like decompress be around other people if they could get out of their house and it's kind of given us like a sense of normalcy because everyone that I'm with doesn't have power right now and they also have pets and they're worried about groceries they're kind of worried about the same stuff I am so it helps it's helped. Now, Velo Fellow only serving drinks tonight. Unfortunately, their chefs were unable to come in because where they were living, they tell me those roads were flooded. However, they are saying, people, come on in. Their doors are open. Now, I want to introduce you to someone very special with us right now. It is the co-owner of Poppy's Tacos, Jorge Barales. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. So, Jorge, tell us a little bit about how Poppy's Tacos was affected by um, last night's storm. Uh, well, uh, the power went off earlier this morning, and um, yeah, once you know, you know, it came back on, uh, I talked to my staff. Uh, we were thankful that everybody was safe, uh, friends and family also, um, and we kind of regrouped. And then we, obviously, we knew that power was still out, and um, they were okay with coming in and opening doors and being here for our community. And people really came out in waves because when I was here, like I said, 30 minutes ago, this line was like way past your door. So tell us a little bit, what was the crowd like today? Um, just uh, like you said, like just people just um, coming here for uh, Saving Haven, uh, battery packs, charging them in, in the restaurant, um, getting food, food to go just in case the power then come back on. Uh, people coming into the hotels, checking in, getting food, uh, because obviously it was pretty crowded. I mean, downtown was just busy, yes. Now, I, I want to ask because I've been able, I've had the privilege of meeting several of your employers over the last week because of some, because of the storms that have rolled through this area. And everyone who I've met has been so positive about keeping their doors open. What is keeping people's spirits up during this time? Uh, just us, our community, as a whole. That's how, you know, our group, us as Greenvillians, that's how we are. We uh, pull together, you know, not only us, our sister restaurants, Lacey Gold, um, you know, so we, everybody just, you know, once we knew, I, I know, internet, we're still out of uh, internet, we don't have it. But once we got power, we, we, you know, regroup and, you know, we know that people, you know, our community needs us. They couldn't cook at home. And that's why we were here and we're able to um, regroup again and talk to the staff. And they were um, happy to come in and, and safe to do it too. So. And for our viewers tonight who um, may not be able to have access to certain foods tomorrow, their power's out. What time are you open tomorrow? When, when can they come in? So um, we're a little bummed that the, um, um, obviously for safety purposes, the Saturday market's not open in the morning. But we'll, our doors will open at 11 normal hours, um, hoping that, you know, obviously power comes back on for everybody, but we'll be here to serve them uh, early um, breakfast, lunch, and hopefully they, everybody can get um, safe home. Yeah. Jorge, thank you so much. So, like he said, tomorrow, if anyone needs a place to come, you can come right here to Poppy's Tacos. They're going to have their doors open for you. And as long as everyone stays safe, that is obviously the first priority for the staff here. So, thank you so much. Reporting live in downtown. Greenville, Alexa Urbach, Fox Carolina News. The positivity there uh, from Poppy's Tacos. That's what it's all about during times like these. In addition to the restaurants, a lot of people have reached out to us asking about grocery stores and gas stations.